stop by my office? We need to have a talk. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandal's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agathe out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar Order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Grandpré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. Ready to go. We are nearly there. Know that you are aiding a worthy cause. 
even if you do not yet know what it is. I would, but she would just have you brought back to life and put you back to work. Shit! What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Shay's back at Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Comedian too. Help! Help! Yeah. I have as clear a shot as I can get. Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe.
How did you do that? It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this... Uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating Precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the Assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but... a tree. These temples hold the Earth together like roots. Disturb them, and Haiti falls, or... Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the Lugerberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted.
I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the... Lawrence! Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. Favoring gale towards our island home. A mainmast sprung, a whaling done, and we ain't got far to roam. A storm, so bones are carried away. What care we for that sound? A living tale is after us. Thank God, where are There she is! The HMS Pembroke, Captain James Cook's ship. He's a beauty. Man of war, fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shay Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but... I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself. Back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. It is imperative we stop those ships now. The outcome of the war is endowed. It could use your own water. We prove crucial.
Dear God. Fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir! It's the Experto Credit! And what? How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Fire! 
Cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning! That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Wale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Hist. So was the Elder Washington, and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. Wardrop, too. Though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along. If you're trying to test my conscience, Guest, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shay, but it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, Guest. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the other. Spider wings to the wind. Full Captain Hasler has the wheel! Let out some sail! Release the mains! We 
worth fishing off Hayes Bro. Dallas Royal Stunts. Let's catch my wind. Windy old weather, stormy old weather. When the wind blows, it all pulls together. When up comes a herring. Queen of the sea says now, old skipper, you cannot catch me in the windy old weather, stormy old weather. The wind is picking up. Flotsam, sir, could be valuable cargo. And catch the wind. Squall, pick it up, Captain. The odds in all rock, outposts, sir. Captain. If its name is to be believed, there's. Cold and dreary morning in December. December. And all of me money it was spent. Captain's, Captain's orders! That's quite a win, Captain! Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. 
At a Wally. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed, gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Close down! Catch some wind! Loose the mains! Half sails! Stunts out! Let's get moving! Saints for service. What is that doing here? That makes no sense. Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean going vessel. It should be nearly impossible to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship inland? As the war is drawing to its close, they're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. It's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. But did I ever tell you the story of Madame Vrenette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name, but... Right, Point is, I think I know a safe place where we can debark. Sail on! So what's the plan? We bombard the fort? It would be foolhardy to simply storm that fort. Aye. We need to know what we're up against. I can take care of that. Indeed. Let's find a safe place to dock. Fire! Down, I'll go to the fort. Find out what Adewale is doing there. Keep the Morrigan close, Gist. Aye, sir. I'll keep her close, and I'll keep her safe. Good luck, Cher. I make my own luck, Master Kenway.
So, the Templars sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal chain. Good job, everyone! And we'll be sorry! 
a good shot. Fire! Fire! Fire. 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 Hammered us that time! Fire! Fire. Swimming home tonight. This river's getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. Shea has gotten us out of tighter scrapes before. And the lake ahead is a dead end. And a Wally won't be able to get out. Still and fight me. Abuwali is facing you on his own terms, picking the battlefield. And on his own ship, he is most at ease. Fight those barges, and we'll be swimming home tonight. This river's getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. She has gotten us out of tighter scrapes before. And the lake ahead is a dead end. And a Wally won't be able to get out. it is. Man of War can't follow us anymore. Fire!
his ship! A novel tactic? He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. Go after him, Shay. I will circle around. Forgive me, Atawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. 
It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, she. <laughs> Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the wars aren't really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shay plays. What is our progress on the Precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next Precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer, Mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. We've yet to find where Hope is hiding, and most criminals in New York report to her now. I better find the Grand Master. 